Hello and welcome back to live coverage of the Apex Gaming Last Chance Qualifier here at the home store in Caldwell, Ohio. I'm Todd Tandy Anderson and I'm joined by Ross Merriam. Say hi, Ross. Hi, Ross. We have four rounds down and one more round left to bring you this evening. Uh, the winner of this match will very likely make it into the Invitational on Sunday. That's a $20,000 modern main event uh, that we have been running qualifiers for all year. Uh, these players in the last round, we're going to be watching essentially three win and ends. Uh, maybe two and a half win and ends because one's a pair down, whatever. Uh, but the first There's a match... chance a 4-1 misses. Really? The way we, yeah. Oh, so we've got never one... mind. We've got Oliver Mason at 4-0 at the top of the standings. Okay. We have six players at 3-1. So Oliver Mason is paired down to one of them. Hmm. Then four of the remaining five 3-1 and one players are paired against each other in win and in matches. And then the last 3-1 is paired down. So if the 3-1 who's paired down and the 3-1 who's paired up both win, we end up with a situation where we have five people at 4-1, and one, and one of them, unfortunately, bubbles out on breakers. Well, now, I might, I might uh, lobby Kyle Huck to <laughs> grant a, an extra invite in now, that spot, but we'll see. If both of those players lose, then we end up three with two? a 5-0 fi and two 4-1s, and, and one 3-2 will make it in on breakers. So we'll have the, the, the lucky loser sneak in as the right. only 3-2 and two in fourth place. All right, so this round, uh, we are going to be watching the streamer Will Hall EXP playing Rakdos Scam versus Chase Irwin, who we've watched many times already. On Is It Merktide, uh, Irwin started off 3-0, lost a really close one against Tron last round, and now has his work cut out for him. But let's head on down to the feature match area and watch these two players battle it out for their chance and the invite to the $20,000 main event on Sunday. Can Will Hall complete the, the comeback? I think he, lo he lost either round one or two. He so. lost round one to Robin Gonzalez on yeah. camera got clapped in the mirror so can he complete the 4-0 comeback or uh or can chase Irwin avoid the opposite roller coaster yes. of 3002 yeah the undefeated until the wheels fall off chase Irwin looks like he's gonna take a mulligan never the place you want to be against rakdos evoke but we know it's better to have a playable hand that has six or five cards rather than an unplayable seven will hall gonna Look like he keeps seven, but I'm unsure. They were doing mulligans and stuff stuff off screen. Uh, in the Racto Scam versus Murktide matchup, who you got, Ross? Now, the data seems to suggest that is it Murktide is slightly ahead in this matchup. Really? That's that surprising to me. Doesn't make sense to me. Well, the card Murktide Regent just doesn't die to anything except terminate. And yeah. now they're playing Spell Pierce and Spell Snare to protect it. That is uh, a possibility. I just think the the Rakdos of Oak deck is doing significantly more powerful things. Yeah, but have you ever played the card Counterspell before? I have. I played my opponent's Counterspell off of my Ragavan once. That was fun. I bet it was. This looks like a mulligan to five for Chase Irwin. An unfortunate start to this critical match. But if we do end up in the scenario where a 3-2 sneaks in, him starting 3-1, it, it's got to be good news for his tiebreakers. All right, we're going to put some back. However many is yet to be seen. This is at least a mold of five. We're hoping it's not a mulligan to four so we get a real game. All right, five cards. We'll see if Will Hall has anything powerful to start off with. Shocks, Blood Crypt. We got Fury. And it's going to oh, stay. Fury's going to die. It's not dead after all. <laughs> all right, so Fury is going to come back with a Wicked Roll token. And the Wicked Roll says if this creature would leave the battlefield, or sorry, if the Wicked Roll token would uh, go to the graveyard, the opponent loses a life. So Will Hall essentially makes a, an 8-8 eight -eight on turn one. Pretty powerful stuff. It's basically Fire Action Dreadnought. Yeah, it's just eight power on turn one. No hope, big. hope your five-card hand can handle it. Yeah. Now, the Mishra's Bauble here is somewhat important. Chase could power his way to an early delirium for an unholy heat. Right. That is one way to answer Fury quickly. We're at two types. If you play like a preordain here, maybe we can get somewhere. Maybe Will Hall plays like Dothy Voidwalker, and then you bolt plus. Um, I guess bolt wouldn't go to the graveyard then. Well, we'll see if we can get out of it. I think unholy heat and getting delirium quickly is the easiest way. Uh, we're going to go fetch after looking with Bobble, so we clearly want to shuffle away whatever it was. We have an island in hand, so we went to... Uh, get a tapped steam vents because we didn't have anything to do with the mana. Yeah. All right. About to take some big hits. Want to conserve that life total. Whack! Down to 11. 
Turn two, welcome to modern. Holy crap. And now it what's it, Bowmasters? Oh yeah, go. I got I guess I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm Will Hall, I actually slam that Bowmasters main phase. I'm sorry. Uh, spell you want, spell you want to snare take out a blocker. Exists. Spell snare exists. Spell snare. They're so low in life. If you just leverage your position with a main phase bowmaster, do you know how easily you would win the game? Well, I think his bowmaster is about to get spell snared. <laughs> what? And what? Now, oh, and there's a creature. I doubt Erwin will go to three here. They'll probably chump block anyway, which it would have gotten us to delirium. I don't see any holy heat over there either, so still yeah. needs a little help off the top, but does have preordain, so might be able to find it. But do you take the eight here? Maybe you need the channeler for pressure back. Yeah, Being at three know. is so precarious. They'll never be able to block again because of the delirium. So save your life total. Finds yeah. counter spell, but that's not great when you're behind. We can play a big Merc Tide region, but we're going to go digging with Preordain first. There's a Bowmaster in response. We have to play counter spell and then soak eight. I think this is a tough spot to be in. Okay. Yeah, counter there. Spirit in resolves, but we've already played a land. We're going to bottom two lands. We're looking for Unholy Heat only. Draw. Another Pure Dane. We get, <laughs> well, we get another shot next More turn. sweats. We're going to go to three, though. Will yeah. Hall, let's see if you can close it out. There are two Lightning Bolts in Will Hall's list in the Bang. deck, so one of those will likely end the game. Oh, and... That'll win the game, too. So now we need two re re yeah. removal spells. Into, okay, well, we found Pure Dane. Yeah, we don't have enough mana to cast them both and cast two removal spells, though. True. I think so, this is, it's got to be nothing. We're dead. Yeah. If we had found a removal spell off the top, we could have killed the Voidwalker and then played Murktide Regent to trade with the Fury. Right. But So we, we just needed a removal spell there. Couldn't find it. All right. The Puritan should be exiled, but the game's over, so we're just going to move on. All right. Game number one goes to Will Hall. Turn one Fury too much for is it Murktide to handle. Cards like Gliding Bolt can't quite kill that 4-4 four, four body. And uh, we're going to be moving to sideboards as the players are moving to take a peek on how to improve their matchup. Ross, why don't you give me a rundown of how you think Chase Irwin's Is It Merc Tide deck is going to sideboard in this matchup against Racto Scan? Okay, so Chase's sideboard is two Engineered Explosives, one Flusterstorm, one Spell Pierce, two Stern Scolding, one Cursed Totem, one Unlicensed Hearse, one Blood Moon, one Days Undoing, one Force of Negation, one Narset Parter of Veils, one Subtlety, and two Fury. Uh, I like the stern scoldings, especially in the play. It can stop, it can counter grief, counters everything but fury. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's enough targets to, to make it worthwhile. I like the days undoing, actually. I think if you can ever fire it off with Narset, it's obviously incredible. But even by itself, it's a card that can help you recover um, from an early deficit. Mm -hmm. I like the Narset. It's just a source of card advantage, and I like the pitch elementals. Fury helps you catch up when they do the early scam plays. Subtlety can just stop them. They're both good cards to draw late if you end up having a lot of your resources stripped early. So uh, I like the versatility of those in this matchup as well. All right, on the other side of things, we have Will Hall playing Recto Scam. Uh, what's in his sideboard do you think could be uh, helpful against Is It Merc Tide? So Will Hall's sideboard is interesting. He's got four copies of Leyline of the Void, two Engineered Explosives, two Blood Moon, two Feed of the Swarm, two Turok Dread Cantor, two Chalice of the Void, and one Kobligan's Command. I imagine some number of those Ley Lines will come in against the Merc Tide mm -hmm. Regent DRC deck, but I don't know how many you can afford to bring in. I like Feed the Swarm as an additional answer to Murktide Regent, but... Oh, yeah, take eight? Yeah, it's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot, a lot of damage life to kill Murktide Regent. Maybe, maybe that's too much life to lose. Chalice of the Void is also interesting. Yeah. You know, Chalice and one in this matchup stopping the, uh, you know, one-mana removal and the Preordains and a lot of the creatures, but then you do stop your own right. Thought Seizes and your Undying effects, so... Um, maybe that one's just for the Cascade matchups and right. you just have too much overlap in your list to bring in. Uh, and I could also see bringing in Torok or Colgan's Command if you think the matchup is, you know, pretty attrition-oriented. Uh, it'll just depend on, um, you know, Will Hall's understanding and approach to the matchup. All right, well, as these players are shuffling up here for game number two, I'd like to take a moment and say thank you to the sponsors of the Apex Gaming Invitational Series. Ultimate Guard is the industry leader in TCG supplies, from their katana sleeves to their archive giant deck box that can hold a whole cube or your commander decks. Make sure to check out Ultimate Guard products at your local game store, and if your local game store doesn't have them, make sure to ask them for them. 
Uh, also, thank you so much to Moxfield, the new deck building website that I've been using over the last few days. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's a great place to construct and save decks that you can easily share with your friends. And uh, it's great for streamers and players alike. Uh, thank you so much to Wings Etc. Grill and Pub. Wings Etc. is the place where Ross and I are going to be going in about 30 minutes. And I am itching. I am so hungry and I am ready to go. Uh, we're going to have a good time there, and we're probably going to eat there two, maybe three times this weekend. And then lastly, I want to say a big, big thank you to TCGPlayer.com for being our flagship sponsor on the Apex Gaming Invitational Series. Uh, they are the industry leader when it comes to singles. Make sure to check out TCGPlayer.com for any singles for any card game you play from Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! to Magic the Gathering and now Disney's Wakana. Uh, you can also check out TCG Player's sister site, TCG Player Infinite, where they post up strategy articles for all of those games, including big names like Frank Carson, Magic Hall of Famer. We are just about ready here for game number two. Will Hall looks like he's going down to five. His turn to mulligan. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Modern. But this is another deck that can aggressively mulligan because those early scam starts with the evoke creatures are so powerful they can make up for a mulligan quite easily. Will's actually mulliganing in the opposite order that I mulligan, where he's picking cards to build a five-card hand and putting them face down instead of just, like, pulling cards out. But here is a turn zero, Leyline of the Void. This is going to shut down a lot of stuff from Chase Irwin's side of things. Will Hall on the draw, going to... Go back his way. Let's see if he has another turn one play. And no, he doesn't. Okay. Trying to get a look at hands here. Okay. We got a DRC for Erwin. That's nice. Though the ley line, you know, limits its ability to be aggressive. But just being able to surveil a bunch of times through your deck, find more relevant cards. Yeah. This, this ley line of void is like secretly nuts it's so hard to fight through if you're a murktide deck because darcy and murktide both require the graveyard to do anything here's a dothy void walker this is uh pretty tough for chase if it survives we'll see if he has a counter spell <laughs> for it or something similar yeah will now asking about the interaction between his own cards no oh, he's no, just asking if this is die. getting spell snared <laughs> okay. Ooh, stern scolding stern scolding Let's get Stern Scolding on the stream or on the screen because this is a, a newer counter spell from the uh, Tales of Mid Middle Earth Lord of the Rings set that was direct print to modern. Uh, for one mana, you get to counter target creature spell with power or toughness two or less. That hits so many creatures in modern, but most notably, it does not hit Fury, which is one like basically the only thing that's holding it back. Yeah, and ooh, uh, interesting with. Fired off the iteration here, which I like. You know, we can make a third land drop off of it. With the Surveil, saw on Holy Heat and kept it on top. And then I, I think might have just bottomed it off the iteration. <laughs> because the it was Lightning Bolt and Mishra's Bauble were the other two cards. So we exile the Bauble, get to play that. All right, we're going to take a look at the top of Will's deck, and it's a Black Cleave Cliffs. We do have a land drop. We have an Island in hand. It looks like we have a Spell Snare hanging out. I wonder if he had that last turn over the Stern Scolding. Yeah. Decides not to attack with the DRC to play max defense against a Dash Ragavan next turn. I don't mind that. I don't either. I think it's a great play. Notably, Spell Snare would not counter a Dash Ragavan. The mana value is still one, even though you're paying two for it through right. that alternate cost. All right, Will going to go Dash Ragavan. Does <laughs> he have the answer, or is he going to just trade? Looks like we're going to offer the trade. Chase accepts in a yeah. passing of the turn. Will clearing the way for a future Raghavan. If you're Chase, these trades are all good. You know, your opponent has used a resource on the Leyline of the Void. They mulliganed a bunch. You're up cards from the expressive iteration. Trade one for one when you can. Right. Now Chase's hand looks like it's pretty well set up. Has a uh, Spell Snare, Spell Pierce, Lightning Bolt, uh, Narset. So it has a lot of bases covered. It draws Darcy number three. That's so awkward in the face of this ley line of the void, but maybe it's good enough. Just Mons Goblin Raiders getting in there, man. No, I'll tell you what, Mons Goblin Raiders is not good against Orcish Bowmaster, but we got the spell <laughs> snare for it. Well, you know, two drops aren't good against Roth. <laughs> <laughs> we get to surveil a land to the to the exile zone. Now the question is, do we want to attack? We do. One damage coming in. 
Hello. Looks like is that spell pierce in hand? I, I believe I, so. I see Narset Lightning Bolt for sure. Yeah. And preordained Pre spell pierce. So mm -hmm. we're trying to hold up spell pierce. Pierce is a card I don't like in this matchup. I agree. Uh it's like pretty good on turn one on the play if you don't have a whole lot going on. And other than that, it's horrible. You're both like Blood Moon decks, so. Okay. Decides to bench the Odawara pretty quickly. And Will's on four mana, so if you're playing this to bounce Leyline, you're only going to get one turn. Decides to keep the Unholy Heat. Just wants another piece of removal. We're going to go attacking. We are on the Warpath. Ooh, well, that's a fury. I think the Warpath is not long for this world unless a Counterspell comes right now. I see steam vents. Will doesn't have land five. I think he has two furies in hand, and he's waiting for land five so he can hard cast them. Because if he were to use two furies in order to evoke one of them to answer it, he's just not getting anywhere. All right, here's a Dothy Voidwalker. Let's see if Erwin has the answer. We know he has an unholy heat that he's been holding on to. Okay. Doesn't want to fire it off yet. Draws counterspell. That's a big pickup. Now we get two surveils. Top's expressive iteration. We're going to leave it. Now we attack for two again with Counterspell at the ready. Yeah, things looking good in game two here for Chase Irwin. Just needs, would it like like a Raghavan, a subtlety, something to increase the clock a little bit. All right, still not biting on the Fury. Wants to make sure that it can come into play. We're going to play an expressive iteration. We get two surveils before we decide. We're going to bench Merktide region. That makes sense because we can't cast it for quite some time, and it yeah. would just be a 3-3. Three, three. Seven mana, 3-3 three, three flyer. Not great. All right. Now, leaves another iteration on top. We're going to go to hand with that one more than likely, but it looks like Fury Oh, no, subtlety. we exiled that one. That one's actually okay. Yeah. It's, it's iteration Fury subtlety, so a lot of expensive cards, unfortunately, which is not generally what you want to see with iteration. Right. But we can exile the iteration and then cast that if we want. But that leaves you vulnerable with that counterspell next turn. So maybe we don't. Yeah, I think I'm on hold up counterspell all the time. I don't mind giving up a card. All right, we're going to attack for two. Would have maybe have liked to have seen uh, like Fury exiled there. As like yeah. a, I you know I have I have about iteration your go, but if you have two mana and you reveal iteration and say go, it's like a thousand percent you have counterspell, which is like a little too much information drain. Yeah, that said, there's not much Will Hall can do about it at this right. point. I agree. Gonna go for a terminate on one of these Darcy's. Interesting spot to go for it. Yeah, Chase does not care. Still get two surveils. Yep, because it was cast with both of them in play. And so now we get to scry two with Preordain. We find another Unholy Heat and another Mishra's Bobble. What are we looking for? Just Raghavans? Our deck is pretty... More counter spells. Yeah, that's true. It's more counter spells. Bolts. <laughs> Probably more effective than most of our creatures at this point. Right. Oh, it decides to keep the Unholy Heat. Yeah, I like keeping the Bobble there instead, maybe, right? Anyway, attack for one. Bobble is pretty free, and you get to surveil off of it. Yeah, but Unholy Heat is Unholy Heat. It's basically Red Swords the Fosher. Well, so. oh, Chase has been prioritizing removals this entire game, so that's clearly something that he does in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here's land five. And we'll all put it into the graveyard. He knows there's Counterspell. Here's one Counterspell at the ready. We'll yeah. see if Chase can find a backup. Gotta figure that the uh, Ooh. that's like the only card you keep. When you've used your last counter spell and you're surveilling, you desperately want another counter spell. Will still at ten life. This ley line, you know, reducing the clock from the DRCs, buying Will a lot of turns. All right, Will here has the ability to cast another fury. Says, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Here is. Yeah, he knows about Ooh, the subtlety this though. Is subtlety. This is bad news for Will. I know he, the subtlety came off an iteration. So yeah, Will didn't know about it. We did. And we're gonna keep it on top, but we know Chase does have access to that counterspell. Yeah, and if you go, if Will goes for the Fury, then that'll be all she wrote because counterspell plus Bolt will reduce Will Hull's life total to twenty or to zero. All right, counterspell and the Fury, mopping it up. Tack Bolt GG game three coming up. Will Hall defeated in game number two.
did double mulligan, had a, a wonky start, but that ley line of the void made those Dragon Rage channelers pretty weak, all things considered, including that Murktide Regent later on, but wasn't quite enough. Yeah, uh, it, it was very important that Chase Irwin found that second counter spell on that turn. Mm -hmm. you know, and if he didn't, then the Fury might have cleaned everything up and we would have had a game. So uh, that game, you know, may, might not have looked that close, but, you know, Will was very, very close to getting back into it. All right. Well, as these players are shuffling up here for game number three, they're going to probably take a look at their sideboard options. They got plenty of time on the clock since those games went fairly quickly. Uh, as they do that, I'd like to take this time to say thank you to Apex Gaming. Uh, the Huck brothers, Kyle and Taryn, as well as the employees, always make us feel especially welcome. Thank you so much to Bricker, our uh, stand-in director for Fridays, because my man Taryn has a family and is busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much to uh, the Huck brothers, Kyle and Taryn. They always take care of me and Ross when we come up, make us feel like VIPs, taking us to dinner, having us over to the house to play some shuffleboard and such. Good folks. We love coming. Yeah. I would also like to thank Jonah Littman and PT Bench for intentionally drawing their match in the last table instead of just playing it out and wasting everyone's time. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like players are just about ready here for game number three. Let's see if they're going to take a mulligan or keep if they take a mulligan. Well, you know what? I'm going to fill. I see two, two oh, bolts and a counter spell. Let's go. Double grief. Go, Will Hall! Yeah. Two bolts. So do we just have to, have to take the two bolts, I guess? I mean, maybe. You could just let the bolts happen. Uh, Yeah, take two bolts. Yeah. Time to race. Just take two bolts. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to play your Darcy, guess what? You got a shock, so clock is extra stiff. Unholy Heat also now. pretty far away. Well, if you can find, you've got instant. You're gonna get artifact from the bauble. You just need to find like a fetch land. How quickly can we get to this Murktide region? Is my question. Yeah, I was kind of the way you know you were like, oh, do we just take two bolts? And I was thinking like, why don't we just take Darcy and Murktide region and just make the game go long? Yeah. It got to depend on Will Sand. Like you know, if Will's got like a terminate, then <laughs> I think he does. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw that black red card I popping agree. up there. We All do right. find a fetch for Chase Irwin, so that will help get us either towards Delirium for Unholy Heat or uh, a DRC or towards this Murktide region. Ooh, I believe that's a Dothy Voidwalker on top of the deck for Will Hall, so it is going to have... Ooh, and a, mm. Well, Chase Irwin does find uh, Unholy Heat, but we're going to ranch straight up dumpster that Darcy going to the graveyard thanks to Orcish Bowmasters and an attack for four incoming after. Yeah, but now with our fetch land, we do have Delirium. Because instant from Bolt, Creatures, DRC, the land, and the artifact from Mishra's Bauble. Yeah, but now that you have the Bowmasters established, you also punish all the preordains, all the other card draw effects. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, did and... We, did, did we get ahead of ourselves? Chase, you had it. Now, now we got to leave the Bowmaster on the battlefield. It has another Unholy Heat, so we can still at least answer the grief, but now the Bowmaster gets to live. So. That was rolled. tough. If you're Will, you're just like, thank you. <laughs> Praise be. Hey, he's trying to get into a $20,000 tournament. You take them how you get them when it's the last match of the day and you're playing for prize. You take them out where you can get them. Now, oh, there's another heat. So many. We could just play a big old Murktide Regent. I kind of like the Murktide Regent because I want to use two mana this turn because then a land next turn lets us heat plus counter spell. But the Terminate in uh, that we think is in Will's hand is going to be backbreaking here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be soul-crushing for Chase Sarwin. But luckily for him, you know what? There's still two more shots at it tomorrow. And technically, the game's not over yet. So let's see if yes. he's able to come back here. This is a big attack, putting him down to three. Murchard region is exiled, as Will Hall reminds his opponent. So you're at three. We can heat the Voidwalker and live. Start with a Preordain. Oh, and we're going to take an extra damage. Wow, this is gross. Now we're dead. Bottom, bottom. And Will's been on top of everything. 
seeing every trigger, knowing every card that gets exiled, and there it is. Will the Hall difference. EXP punches his ticket to the Apex Gaming twenty thousand dollar invitational on Sunday. Big congrats to my man Will on his victory there. Yeah, loses round one, wins out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll explain that one real quick. So, um, in Digital Magic, you can do... Well, in Magic in general, you can do something called Holding Priority, where if you would like to respond to your own spell, you have to say, I would like to hold priority, and then I would like to do this other ability. Otherwise, the default is, I play my thing, you have a chance to respond. If I play my Unholy Heat on your creature, and you say, that resolves, or okay, or mm-hmm, then that spell is done resolving. And if you say, oh, I messed up, I meant to fetch land beforehand, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's not how it, the game works. It, it's such an uncommon play that we, we assume that you yeah. shortcut through it, because that's how most magic is played. Now, if he had fluidly cracked his fetch land with the Unholy Heat sitting in play, no one would have batted an eye. But he, at some point, said, Unholy Heat your thing, and Will probably said, that's fine. And then he goes, Ugh! Yeah. 